Alright guys, Criminal here, we're back with another video. This time I'm gonna be doing a Kenshi guide. Kenshi, Kenshi is the most difficult and complex character we have here. So bear with me if I'm not doing the Sonic Fox level stuff, because I'm not Sonic Fox, he's just a savant. The guy is just ridiculous. I can't understand how he figured out his combos in like half an hour. Back when in the first rest test. It was just crazy. So, Kenshi is the first... I think the first puppet character we had in a Mortal Kombat game. So it's really a monumental event for this game's, for this game's lifespan. So yeah, it's gonna be a long one because Kenshi has a lot, as you can see. If you go through this, yeah, that's gonna take me a while, so bear with me here. So yeah, first of all, let's start with this one, one of his best strings in my opinion. This one, great for combos outside of center stance. Just something like this, basic. Get your... Get your... Um, Get your distance from the opponent. As you can see here, if you saw it briefly, it's minus 17 on block. So you don't want to finish this string, actually. You want to end with this if you can't catch your opponent with that low. Because the second hit of that string is a low. It's minus 6 if you stop it at the low. But if you use the launcher, it's minus 17. So you don't want to just throw it around like that. Alright, really solid string. Next up, we have this one. Yeah, really straightforward. Good for block strings, I suppose. It should be an over, judging from the animation, but it's a mid. It's minus 3 on block. Both of them, actually. If you stop it in the second hit or the final hit, it's still minus 3. So it's a pretty solid string for block strings. Not really that special. Yeah, his fastest button, I'm pretty sure, is just standing 1. Like with most characters. So yeah, that's pretty much it. Let's move on to this one. This spinning flurry I just did, it ends with an overhead and it's minus 8 with a pretty good pushback. So it's pretty much unpunishable, and if you stop it with the first hit, it's unpunishable, it's minus 4. If you don't know, there are no regular buttons that are faster than 6 frames. Or almost none, I can't think of anyone. Alright, next up we have this one, a very good string for him. Forward triangle triangle. It's, it's a special one because it goes into multiple options depending on the final of the final button you press. So, in general, it just, it's minus 7 and it's a great way to get into the center stand. So yeah, if you go with the options, you have it with back triangle at the end. Just get them to the ground, it ends with an overhead and I'm pretty sure it's unsafe, right? No, it's actually safe, it's minus 8. Surprising, really. It's not that safe because I don't think that pushback, so it's technically punishable, but really not that punishable. Next we have this one. You just launch them to the sky and you can extend the combo with the cameo. I don't know if you can extend it by yourself though. Yeah, just another solid option, really. Uh, sorry, I just I moved down in so long, it's like a grocery list with this guy. It's minus 10, but it has some pushback because it launches the way forward. So it's really, again, it will be difficult to punish for the majority of the cast when the game launches. Next up we have with the down triangle. It's the same as the back one, but it's just the blade goes further. If I do it in this range, I want to use the down one because it won't hit if I do the back one. Alright, that's pretty much it for this string. Its main usage is like this with the cameo cameo, you call it. And Set up center and set up and set up the can the Kenshi bullshit and really not that good with Kenshi. It's just it does insane damage as a reward because it, it's really difficult. Setting up the center stance and the spacing correctly is really difficult, and you really need really need to be good in the game to do it. Next up, we just have a standing three, a standing three. It's zero on it, it's minus two on block, it's not that useful, it, it's pretty good in combos though, you can do something like this. But again, standing four is superior, so most of the time you'll just use the standing four instead of the standing three. So yeah, going, moving on, it's safe again, moving on to the standing four. As you can see, it's faster on startup, it's more plus on hit, and it's actually plus on block, this one, this button here. It's crazy good button, just the standing four. I'll show you in the corner for a second if you can get the bastard. Yeah, he has sort of a loop with the rising karma. With, with that button, I'll show it real quick. Just very straightforward, do this, this into the push. 
solid damage really, 25% is not that bad. Especially for such an easy combo. Then we have, again, an extension of that button, the 4-4 four, four string. Minus 7, it ends with an overhead, so fairly safe for an overhead ender. Unless your Johnny Cage is always safe, <laughs> so it's not the same thing. And yeah, that's basically it. He has a really good sweep, far reaching, and solid pokes. Yeah, that's basically it for his regular special. And now we go into Sento. Now with Sento, the game cha game plan changes. If you block and press movement, you can actually move the ancestor. And depending on the button you press, he'll do a different move. So that that bonk to the face, that square, that triangle, this one. Get here. Bloody ancestor. Here. That was triangle. As you can see, you can you can hit the ancestor. That's a circle, pretty good combo finisher, and that's and this is what gets crazy. That's X, the most insane launcher in this game, and down. That's where Kenshi gets most of his ridiculous damage from. So yeah, the ancestor can only do this for movement. If we disregard specials, he doesn't really his own specials, but this is basically it. Now the center stance has a few cool gimmicks, and it has multiple strings. I'll show the strings and then the gimmick. So first up we have this, this one, really good range, because when Kenji has a sword that is, he gets really good range, because the sword is out and it gives him a natural advantage over his enemy. So that one, that one was, this one, extremely unsafe on block, very not good on hit if you finish it, but really good range. And overall it's great for in combos, in combos specifically, I'll show you real quick something like this. Let's see, this. As you can see, it really, it really is good to start combos with this Tentel stance. Alright, next up. We are, uh, it's gonna be a long one, sorry guys, it's just, he has so much. We have this one. Most of his moves is playing in Tentel stance, from what I know are actually pretty unsafe, because... Well, most of them are launchers and lead to crazy good damage with the Ancestor. So we have this one, back one two, a launcher, good string, really good string, crazy good range, considering it's a launcher. We can go into something like this. So yeah, even without the Ancestor out, even when you lose it, you get a lot of damage with Kenshi in the center stand. So yeah, let's go back into center. Oh, something I forgot to mention. As you can see in the Kano gauge, it's basically a countdown. When it runs out the bar, the center stance disappears. So you really want to make sure you notice that. Because it's if he runs out and you, you aren't noticing it, it could be really dangerous for your game. Alright, next up we have... What is this? Don't blink. Let's see. Minus 5. Actually, it's a safe string with the center. Not very common. As you can see, it's sort of a bounce, so if you use the Ancestor, you can get something like this. So you can get the launcher. So yeah, again, it's safe and it's a good combo starter again. Again, every movement with the sword, and he does have good range, because he's using a sword. So, he'll have good range for most of his moves. So you can really play that mid to close range game with Kenshi. Now we have this button that is fucking stupid. <laughs> 37 hits on... on for, uh, Sorry, a 37 frame advantage on hit, 16 frame on start up really fast for an overhead actually. So what it does basically, if you end the combo with this special, they're stuck between the Ancestor and Kenji, and you can do this. As you can see, it's really, really tough to react to something like this. When, when you're between the Ancestor and Kenji, you're gonna panic, maybe press some buttons so it becomes a mind game. You can guess if they're gonna do an armored move like Johnny's Shadow Kick and then you just block it and get the full combo. Next up we have this one. Again, minus 20 on block. Oh, but if you start putting it in the second hit, it's actually minus 4, so not that bad. Ah, this one, yeah. It's best combo starter as you could have seen by now. You go into this. I hate this game. <laughs> I fucking hate it, this will give us a training mode. Alright. We go into this. Move Ancestor. We go into this, this stuff. Oh my god, I'm fucking up.
It's, uh, it's his main combo combo tool really in the Sento stance. Now moving on, he still has more. Oh my god! I didn't even know some of these exist because he has so many fucking strings. Oh what? What? One frame on startup. Holy sweet god! Oh, it was already in center. Get away from me for a second. There, just the kick to the face. I am surprised it's one frame on start. It doesn't look one frame. Maybe it's a bug or something. I'm not sure. Anyways, moving up to this, the Tibia Tapper. This one. Yeah, that's a low one, pretty sure. It should be. It kicks you in the feet. So. Yeah, it's a low. So, as you can see, this is where this comes into play. You have to guess, right? I think that's a bug. It doesn't look like it's one frame on startup. It's really, it's really slow, actually. So yeah, it has an extension as well. Let's check it out. Oh god! You just, you just punch the shit out of them to the air. So yeah, you can extend it if you're, if you're decent with Kenshi when it comes to combo extensions. It just launches you to the sky so you can get the bonk, like the the, the, the standing uh, standing X with the ancestor when he just the huge lunge and launches you. Next we have this one. As you can see, Kenshi's pokes are stupid in central stance because he uses his sword to, to stab you. So he gets ridiculous range on his pokes so you can just throw them around and it's pretty safe to do that. Oh, something I didn't mention. Something I didn't mention, it's really important to mention it. What was the move I was looking for? Hold on, I just lost, lost count of what I was trying to look at. Oh, so it's not an overhead, never mind. Yeah, just this thing ends with a low, I forgot to mention it. I was pretty sure the lunge is an overhead, considering the animation, but they actually, it's this, it's not an overhead. I'm pretty sure it was in the stress test. They must have. Uh, Patched it. So yeah, we have this one next. Overhead here. Really fast overhead. Holy shit. Let's check the frame data real quick. The frame data on this one. Again, one frame. I think it's a bug with Kenshi. This one, seven frames. Let's see it. Fucking breakers. Just stabs you in the chest, launches you away. Now, is that it for strings? For the love of. And yes, this one. Just double kick. Good poking tool, you can just try to catch your opponent with it. It drops them to the ground so you can set up some pressure afterwards. And yeah, that's basically it for Kenshi's normal normal attacks. Now let's take a look at his air combos. He actually has fair, a fair good amount of usage for his air combos. We have this one first. The sp spirit spike. Again, just end them, launches them to the ground, you get a knockdown. Not really a good way to set up pressure, but again, decent decent damage, good to end up combos without the center. And we have this one as well. You kick them away in this one, so you can actually get a combo here. Let me see if I can get it. Oh, my bad. Yeah, as you can see, you can see where, where I was going with this. You can just you get you can get a cameo in and get a, an extension for the combo. And next we have also the Sento aerial attacks. Sento gets a completely unique moveset here. So, so let's just launch him real quick. This was the first one. Really good. Really, really good. Let's just launch him with the, the bonk. As you can see, this one leaves them in the air. So this one is a very, very good option. This trick right here. Incredible for Kenshi, because it's really good for combos, especially in the corner. Let me see if I can get it real quick, actually. Oh, I don't have bar. So it might be a bit of a, a bit of an issue here. I 
I don't have bar, it's gonna be troublesome. Yeah, I can't get it right there, what I wanted to do. I'll show it. With Kenji. Again, it, it's still, it's really basic stuff for the character, because it's really complex. And Sonic Fox did this in like, he, he failed it down in like 5 minutes, because the guy is just ridiculous. So, yeah. Next up we have this one. Let's launch him away. You just, you kick the shit out of him and you launch him full screen pretty much. So, you're really gonna use this most of the time. Really. And this button here is absolutely stupid. This, this one is crazy for combos. You, because you can do something like this. Yeah, you can just get this stuff. And you, it's really good for combos when you don't use the Ancestor and when you use the Ancestor. So it's really good. Now we finally get into specials after like a shit ton of time. <laughs> Alright. First off, we have Ancestral Guard. It just runs at you. and Again, it's called the Guard because it will guard attacks. Projectiles especially. Uh, specifically. Normal attacks will hit him. He will guard against projectiles and keep on his run. Cancel, cancel, cancel. Oh, what the fuck? You can cancel it. You can extend it, it just keeps running. If you hold the button, you can cancel it with L2. It costs nothing to cancel this one. You can just try the run. If it doesn't work, just cancel and escape. So yeah, that's for this one. Next time we have this one. Insane wake up when it's the hands one. Crazy good hitbox. Great combo finisher. Good pushback. Really a good special. This one is an insane wake up. You just do this. And the enhanced move because it's armored when it's enhanced, so it's ridiculous. Next up, we have the demon drop. Yes, it returned. Yes, it's broken. It's Kenshi. This one. Stupid. Stupid. Stupid for keep away. They never see it coming. Uh, if you enhance it, it's a launcher. So yeah, you can get some cool stuff with it, but you really don't want to use it as a launcher because it's more, mainly a keep away tool from what I've seen. You can use it to get some sauce in, but most likely use this button right here, the rising karma, as your main launcher in combos. Yeah, because the rising karma doesn't cost you meter to get a combo in, and it's really good for farming up meter for armor wake-up options and for other buttons. So yeah, where was I? So long, man. It's ridiculously long. Yeah, with the Rising Karma, the enhanced version does more damage and it launches them higher. So the regular one, I can't do. I can't change with the regular one. I actually can. Right? I think it drops though. Yeah, it drops. With the enhanced one, they just go further. Throw the right in the air, so you get it easily. Alright, moving on, from the Rising Karma, we have the Force Push that I just used, if you didn't notice. This one right here, you can just do this and they fly away. If you charge it, it becomes this crazy Kamehameha <laughs> that just pushes them back a shit ton. So it doesn't show really again, it doesn't show the hit itself, but I'm pretty sure it will be plus unblock after all that charging, just like with Johnny's back too. So if you enhance it, it's actually safe from block, it's become mi minus one. In the regular version, the, the no charge version, it's minus 11, so it's punishable. But this one is minus one, so you can just throw it like this. And it drops them, d drops them on their ass, so you can get some cool stuff with it after they wake up. And you can ex also hold this one as well, so... Let me get the bar real quick, so you can hold this. And again, they just fly away. And it's really good for Kenshi when they fly away, when he's out of center, because he has really strong keep away. In every MK Kenshi is in, is just ridiculously strong in zoning. Now we have the center stands. These are the four attacks the Ancestor can do. I already covered that. Now let's check out other stuff we have. You can banish him by pressing the same button. You used to enter center stands, you just exit. You don't want to use this at all because it, it really sucks. It's such a long animation, you get, you get punched in the face every time you try to cancel it, even if you use a cameo to keep yourself safe. So it's really, really difficult. 
as you can see, 68 frames of recovery, so it's crazy, crazy insane. Now we have this one, spiritual alignment. This is a very good move. Now what it does, you enter Santo, you're far away from the ancestor, and you want to you want them to come to you, you do this. And the EX version will actually call him after the, after he's gone. So as I told you earlier, the gauge on Kano is gonna disappear, and the ancestor will disappear from the screen, so you can't use them anymore. Now if I want them back, I just do this, the EX version and it's back again. So that's something to keep in mind. You can do it to the end of combos to get them back again and just start the vortex again with Kenshi. Round one. Now moving on. What else do we have here? Oh, for the love of God. I'm sorry, I'm so sorry, guys. This is really getting long, so because it's ridiculously long, how, how long the moves it is for this character. Next, we have Sawing Sento. This move, I showed it earlier, great combo tool. Really, really good combo tool. When the answer is close to you, it's especially strong, because... Let me get it back. When, uh, sorry, when the Ancestor is gone, it's really strong, because you can still keep up combos going, when, even when you run out of them. When his timer runs out, so... It's very good. You and we have one final move. Fight. This one. Teamwork. A combo finisher. Now, the crazy thing about it, as I mentioned, it keeps them between you and the Ancestor. You can do this. If he keeps attacking me, I won't be able to show it. It's a great combo finisher, it does a lot of damage and you can do this, this bullshit. So yeah, it's really good and the EX version is fucking stupid, I'll show it later. Uh, I'll show it now, sorry, I'll just get the bar. The EX version is actually a projectile and it does 18% damage, so it's ridiculously powerful for a projectile. I just throw the sword and he goes to town. 18% for a full screen projectile. So, yeah, ridiculous. In the corner, you want to use the EX most of the time because it keeps them in the corner. This one reverses them, it moves, pushes them out of the corner. So, finally, we're finished with the moveset. Now, let's talk about what you want to do with Kenshi. I'll reset it again just to. Basically, the game plan getting the center steps just beat their asses. But that's pretty much it. He has insane damage in center. I'll just. If you get this thing off with Kano, you can go with the Sento. That was a basic combo, look at the damage. No meter, by the way. As you can see, the damage just gets ridiculous with this character when he gets the Sento. So yeah, that's it. That's it for Kenshi. Let's let's say with the combos. I'm gonna try to get something cool in the corner here. So bear with me. I'm not that cool with Kenshi. We really need high level execution for him. Yeah, it disappeared so it didn't work. Anyway, when we talk about... I talked about the game plan really briefly, I'm gonna talk about it seriously this time. Game plan with Kenshi, you want to get into the center as soon as you can. In a combo situation, preferably. And end with this one, and just get into the vortex. Let's talk about earlier. I just want to get in, do a ton of damage and then get away, and if you can, cancel the Sento and just ki zone them to death, basically. With the Demon Drop, because the Demon Drop is stupid. Is it's a crazy good projectile. Round this one. Fight. So yeah, you can... You really, because Kenshi is so diverse, you can use two separate playstyles. If you want to stay in the regular one, just zone them out like this. Like, push them away. Demon Drop. Demon Drop. Demon Drop. 
Demon drop. EX demon drop. EX demon drop. Demon drop again. <laughs> Just demon drop because it's fucking stupid. So yeah, you can do this. So we can go for the fancy route. Which is the more fun one, and just go center. And go with a shit ton of damage. So yeah, that's basically it for Kenshi, I landed with the fatality here. Oh, fucking hell. Well, never, I'm sure everybody saw it by now. So yeah, that's gonna do it for Kenshi. Really, really strong character. Requires insanely high execution, especially for the spacing to keep you between the puppet, to keep the enemy between the puppet and Kenshi, and keep the puppet where you want them to be. So, yeah, it's a very high, high risk, high execution curve character, and high learning curve as well, but it's also extremely high reward, and it really deserves it. Kenshi gives the good players what they deserve, and if you put in the time and effort to learn this character, actually and truly, for his entire Bible long move that I just show you here, if you take the time to learn them, you'll be rewarded with insane damage, some sauce, and a ton of good time. So yeah, that's gonna wrap it up. How long is this? Holy shit, 26 minutes. So yeah, that's gonna wrap it up, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I'm gonna try to cover Lee May next if I have time before the beta ends. So yeah, peace.